All right, the exhaust is off. I got it off without cutting it with the blowtorch and some gentle persuasion. Um, I may want to save it and use it again. Um, believe it or not, these bolts here on both sides came off without snapping. I mean, that's probably the first time in my life that has happened. They did not snap on both sides. They came off. I soaked them in automatic transmission fluid about 24, 24 hours. Uh, put it on there with a syringe so I could get to it. And um, with a rattle gun, they just came off. Boom. 24 hours later. All right, now the sump's got to come off. All these bolts. Don't forget, when you take your exhaust off, don't forget to uh, disconnect your catalytic converters either unscrew them or unplug them um, so that don't rip any wires so sump is next and that will tell us the damage that there is I've got to undo all these bolts around the outside of the sump and then hopefully I may have to jack the uh, engine off the jack it up a bit so it give me a bit more access and hopefully I may have to take this bar off I may have to, it may have enough clearance, I'm not sure um, but we'll see and uh, all these bolts down the front I'm guessing there's about 20 bolts and that's the next job and then we will inspect the damage. Um, oh, well, here we go. Let's take them off. Okay, the sump is off. The baffle plate was quite stuck to the sump. It's a bit distorted. I either have to try and straighten it out or buy a new one. Now we have to remove the oil pickup, which is those two bolts, and there's one up here. I've already removed. That's the oil pickup. And, one, and there's another one there, I just noticed. And once you've removed those, the baffle will be out of the way, and you should be able to see the crankshaft clearly. And we should be able to see which big end is wriggling around. So I'm just going to take the oil pickup off now and remove the rest of the baffle and we shall see the naughty big end. Okay, crankshaft is exposed. There she is in all her glory. So now I know it's either that one or that one or one of the other six at the other end. That's a naughty boy. And I have to remove the front bash plate at the front here so I can turn the engine by hand. I may be able to see it. If there's a bit of play in there but I may have to get some flexi gauge and test each one of them it is not obvious now which one is wrong so we will see but that's enough for me today I cannot physically do more so I hope you're learning from this I am <laughs> And hopefully all we need to do is replace the bottom end bearing and we'll be fine. Let's hope. All right. I'll let you show you how to flexi gauge the bottom end next.